Uh, now we can see uh, the basic and simple microservices running with one simple CRUD operation, right? Uh, you can see all the APIs, nodes. I'm able to create a node, and we can get the list of all the nodes, and we can get the node by ID. Similarly, there is a patch and delete and a put. Okay, so these are the basic APIs we have written. Now, what is the next thing? Next thing is having some test cases for our applications, a unit test cases or the integration test cases. We have created the DTOs, we have created the controllers, doing all the validations. We will also be able to write the end-to-end -end test cases, which will validate all these APIs like create node, update node, delete node, get node by ID or find a node by different options, right? So that will be covered in the end-to-end -end test cases. Here, we can think of creating the Test, unit test cases for the services and for the controllers. So how do we do this? We already have the jest setup. So what we can do is pod.service.spec.ts and already jest is looking for all the spec.ts files. Okay. So we'll first create the import all the required things, test and testing module. Test and testing module from NestJS testing. Here also we need to bootstrap the NestJS module, override the services, call the methods and check if the service method has been called or not using spy. And we can use jest for that, jest for spy and mocking. Okay. So I will simply uh, go to our required thing, required dependencies I will import. Like we are going to import the node service. And then we are also going to use Synon for creating a stub. So I will import that npm install minus minus save Synon. And I think we are missing only the types. Okay, and the node entity, we will be getting it from the entity folder. And then all the DTOs. For now, it's just a unit test cases. So we don't worry much about the end to end test cases and populating the data inside a database. Okay, now we can just create a describe it block. Not service. This is our callback. This is how we describe uh, put the describe block. And inside this we can use before all because before executing all we need to initialize the in SGS module. So this is going to be async initialization. Okay, so here we are going to initialize our NSGS module. Before that, let's create node service. Node service is of type node service, one variable, and we are also going to create a sandbox. From Synon, Synon dot Synon sandbox. Okay. Now, before all, what we are going to do is we are going to create a sandbox. Okay. For this service, and we are going to override the service method like using provider. So if you take a look onto this, what we are doing test dot create testing module, and we are focusing on the test service. Okay. So what we are saying is, there is a node service is a provider. Okay. What we want to do is we want to override it with our custom definition because we can't even we can't directly talk to the database. It's a unit test. So we are saying is we are getting the repository token from the type ORM. So this is how you can mock a particular repository. And we are using this particular stub instance for the same repository. That means 
now whenever we are doing a node service dot create find update delete all these will be triggered to this synon sandbox okay and then finally we are getting the node service from this module we have actually changed the definition of node service in this unit test cases because we have override the providers node service is the actual provider but we actually change the definition of this provider with this value synon dot create stub instance now test cases can be simple like what we can do is we can just check if this particular method is getting called or not so this is our before all i think it is finishing here now what we can do is should call save node method so we are doing a just dot spy on a node service and there is a save node method now explicitly call it save node dto right and then we can just check if this particular method has been called or not similarly other set of methods this is i mean i didn't like much these kind of unit test cases where we are just checking a particular method has been called or not find one node spy so there is a find one node method the find one option is empty when you call this method then this particular method has been called or not to have been called right so similarly we have a delete and update update note and delete and once everything is done we have to restore the sandbox so here we created update note spy and we are spying on update note and then we are explicitly calling update note that means the this spy has been called with the note id and dto right so to have been called to have been called with these are the math, these are the assertions we always check to have been called means that method has been called to have been called with means that method has been called with these set of arguments right note id and dto so here is a note id dto and update note this is what we are calling this is the delete note okay so these are like the basic unit tests we have written now what we will do is we can also write the same thing for the controllers and then we will write unit test cases sorry integration test cases for testing the actual apis because we are able to run the apis here if we get all nodes i am able to see all the nodes which has been created i can also create a new node by passing the these two parameter so there are more things like currently we are only talking about the basic unit test cases but integration test case should talk to the integration database and we should also be able to seed some data and should be able to drop the data once the test case is done right because every time when we are running the integration test case what we want is our database table should be truncated should be empty so that we can test from the fresh for each and every block okay let's see the integration test in the next video so here we are and we are running the npm run test against node service dot spec dot ts all the test cases are passing the same test cases we have written now next thing we are doing is writing the test case for the controller so not dot controller dot spec dot ts okay this is a unit test case what we are going to do here is we are going to follow the same strategy we are going to import the testing module and import the controller and import the service this is going to be a little bit simple because if you see the controller controller is totally dependent on the service if we can somehow mock this service methods that means we can just check okay when we are calling save node this save node from the service has been called or not right a simple mocking so what we can do is we will import the controller import controller from i think we are in the same folder so notes controller and the controller name is notes controller okay now we can also service import notes service and this service we are importing from service folder we have to get actual service and then we will override it using provider okay 
Now same describe it block we can copy. We are going to do a little bit different things. What we will do is uh, let's say let app controllers. This controller will be of type node controllers. And there will be a spy service we will create. That will be of type node service. Okay, and here we will initialize our bootstrap our module, which is same as like const testing module equal to this and compile it. Okay, same way I'm writing at many places. So here it will be node controller instead of this, and we are passing node service. And now we are going to create another service which will override it. So const because what we need to do, we know that service is actually talking to the repositories, but we can mock the service here, API service provider. And here we are talking about provide. We are looking for node service and you override it. What we do is use factory. Uh, this is how we Override it, use factory and define all your methods here. This is a function which is going to return all the mockings. Okay, now all the service methods, whatever we have in the node service, we can mock it here using just. Let's say, uh, let's go to node service. I have one method name is save node. Save node, find all nodes, let's say. So how can I mock using just dot fn I think and here we can return whatever you want like an empty array or anything. So this is one method. Similarly we have to mock all the methods. Find all nodes. Now what other methods we have find all nodes, find one node, find one node, okay, find one node will be a single object, I mean you can provide the custom response and can check if this is working fine or not, I am just putting empty array, okay, save node is going to respond something like this, so what we are doing is we are actually overriding the definition of node service with these factory methods using just mock just mocking okay now we can get the controller okay. now we can get the, the instance of controller before all before each or before all whatever you want to use so here we will get the app controller in our case it is let's call it as a node controller not app controller so not controller now we can get the instance from the module app dot get how we get it and this is app controller app dot get give me this not controller okay and uh, there is a spy service for the node service we have created that also we are doing app dot get. So how we will get it using node service. Now we got whatever we need. We got the service. We got the controller. Now we can play with only these two objects. Okay, controller. When I'm calling this method, the service method is getting called or not, right? And we already did the mocking. So there are other methods also in the node service find one node writing update delete note update note and delete note also we can mock this one and this one that's it i think we have delete note update note all the mock all the methods have been mocked now our simple method can be okay this particular method has been called or not right so we'll just start with it, putting some statement. So 
calling C notes method. Okay, what we will do is expect we have the controller notes controller dot. Now what all methods we have? Save note. Save note uh, when I call it dot not equals to null. Right? Or you can just say okay that that has been called or not. An argument DTO is not provided. Okay. This is taking some argument. I can just pass the empty object. Let's see, save note is taking one argument. Let's go to note service. Let's go to controller and see what the save note is taking. So it is taking the body, right? Uh, the object of this create node DTO. We can pass that. So what we need to do, we need to create an object of this const DTO equal to new create node DTO and just pass this DTO. We need to import this. Okay, now simply uh, this is how we will keep calling the other, other methods. Let's write another assertion for this only. We will not to expect for this. We are just calling this and we can create a spy. So what we can expect is expect spy service dot so what all methods we have save note to have been called okay to have been called and we can also check to have been called with i mean what uh, what argument we are passing create note we are just passing the same dt object right so we can say that it has been called with the same dt object or not To have been called with, to have been called with DTO object, right? So this is how we will keep adding the test cases. So here we can see all the test cases are passing. Now few more test cases you can add, like uh, calling get all nodes, calling find node by ID. So what we are doing is we are just calling the controller method and we are checking that service method has been called or not or has been called with these all these things you can test here like get all nodes it's not taking any argument so we are just checking spy service dot find all nodes has been called or not this has been called and we can also add has been called with DTO for this so these are like very basic unit test cases now next important thing is we will write the end-to-end -end test cases in the next video that will talk about okay hitting the actual API. We already have set up for the jest to execute the end-to-end -end test cases. So here we can see we have the npm script for that npm run test e2e that will start the end-to-end -end test case. Here we can see npm run test, npm run test watch mode, test with coverage, test with debug, all these things are available. So we will also do test with npm run test e2e. What it is doing is it is going to look for just e2e JSON. Here inside test, we have just e2e JSON and that will tell us like which test cases needs to be executed. So it, it will look for e2e spec.ts. So we need to just follow that syntax. Inside test, we can create a folder. Okay, this is for the nodes and for the nodes I will be creating nodes end-to-end -end test dot spec dot ts. Uh, these unit test cases are slow that's why I was showing the previous result and all are passing. 
so here we can create a uh, not e to e spec dot ts and end to end test cases are simpler than the unit test cases means you just have to know like what is the end point you need to hit and that end point will give you the 200 status code uh, 201 like get put post delete right so our objective for this couple of videos is to baseline a foolproof microservice having all the the configurations code uh, having all the linters all the prettier all the setup with the docker and all the test cases test case coverage unit test cases integration test cases this integration test case we will cover in the next video till now we have done the setup of the whole microservice now you can extend it to any particular level okay uh, that's it thanks everyone uh, hi everyone this is just the last phase in the unit testing and i wanted to simplify the testing of services in a different way so we have already seen this not service.spec.ts and here i was using the synon sandbox and i was like using get repository token from the typo rm to create a mock sandbox for this but we don't need to i mean you can still simplify this by just creating uh, the the provider for the node service as a mock provider right so same thing i have written here and i wanted to talk about this because this is really a simplified approach uh, in comparison to the, the earlier one what we are doing here is this node service is something which we are going to test so we are creating a, the provider mock provider for it and you can provide you can override any provider by just defining the provide and use class so what i'm overriding node service and i'm overriding it with this mock class right and this mock class has all same methods save node find one node find all nodes delete node update node it's like i have provided a mock implementation of the the service right and i have uh, put that in the provider here while bootstrapping the testing module and then i got the the node service right now i can the rest the rest all code is same in both the test cases here you can see after creating the sandbox i'm doing the same thing creating the spy and all here also the code is rest of the code is same we are creating the spy on the save node we are calling this method and checking if this particular method has been called the only difference here is about the mocking here uh, while bootstrapping the module we are providing api service provider which is overriding the definition of node service with this class so it takes two argument right it takes two argument which is provide and the use class provide means the service and the use class means with which mock class you want to override the node service and then we got this service to the module.get and then we are just checking each and every method okay this is just a missing piece so you can check you can test all the services you are writing in the nest.js with this method you can create all the the mocks together for all the services in one particular mock folder okay node service contact service user service create a mock and you can you, you can even define the the response particularly in an object in an array and the real response which you are getting from the the repository and then your testing will be foolproof right so this is the only missing piece now in the next couple of videos we'll talk about end-to-end -end testing and then 12 factor app principle which we are going to apply on this microservice how we can make it more secure how we can make it uh, how we can expose the interface how we can secure the application with the different modules how we can do the logging how we can do the health check all different principles which a microservice must have all these we will apply on this